there, good afternoon. Here is the question of the day. Welcome to Inauguration Day, Wednesday, whatever the day happens to be to you. But is the ceiling holding you down? What does that mean? So let's think about this for a minute, guys. There's so many com different conversations going on, different pieces of conversations about what we should be thinking, who we should be talking to, what we should be feeling about inauguration, about changes in power, about all of these different opinions, about all these different things going on. I, for one, am, am somebody who tries very hard not to watch the news. And the reason is because it's one of those things that holds me back, holds me down. Because I hear what they want me to hear instead of finding things on my own, growing my own mindset, growing my own ability to do things for myself. And here's what I want you to think about. Is the ceiling holding you down? So that sounds kind of strange because, wow, the ceiling, you know, like here in this room, is like a 10-foot ceiling. So it's really tall. How could that be holding me down? How is the ceiling holding you down? Well, here's what I want you to think about. I posted a graphic this morning on a quote that I read, and I thought, this is amazing. The ceiling is man-made. So I paused there for a second because that's real. And someone else has made, a human, made the ceiling that is limiting what you think you can do because that's as far as you can go. Do you think the guys that are getting, guys and gals that are getting in the astronaut, I mean, excuse me, getting in the spaceship, the astronauts getting in the spaceship and taking off out of the Earth's um, gravity, do you think they're thinking about a ceiling? No, they even get to that spaceship, they get to wherever they're going and then they go outside of that spaceship and they're floating around. This is what I want you to think about. That ceiling is man-made. A human made it. So it means that there's nothing that should stop you from going above and beyond that ceiling. So here's what I want you to think about today. What is holding your thoughts and your ability to do what you really wanna do back? Is it the ceiling you think, wow, I can't get taller than that? Yes, you can, you have a ladder. Wow, you can't get bigger than the idea that something someone else has already done. Of course you can. We each have unique opportunities and unique things inside of us. So don't let all of the other ideas around you get in to what your thoughts are and cloud what you were put here to do, the things that you have the ability to do. So I do interviews lots of times, at least one a week now, and I'm meeting and sharing with you guys some really incredible people who saw opportunities and took advantage of them. And that's what I'm saying. When you think that something might be available to do, I mean, who thought we would be driving electric cars? And now we're gonna start seeing a whole lot more of them because they have, um, they've been able to bring the prices down, they've made the opportunity much more affordable. So what are we gonna see next? Is it something that you're gonna try? Because this is what I want you guys to understand. There's so much in you that you know that you think is a great idea. Maybe you're just scared to act on it for whatever reason that is. So start talking to other people about, or about it. Start partnering with other people about thoughts. Maybe you don't want somebody to steal your idea. Cool. So let's share a piece of it or share um, some hybrid idea to try to figure out how to make the next steps. You know, several years ago, I built a piece of software that helps people connect with other people. Did I think, am I a software engineer? Of course not. As a matter of fact, the computer and I don't get along on a regular basis. I'm the least likely person to build a piece of computer software, but I had the framework and the idea and the plan, so I found somebody who could build it for me in the specs that I required. So this is what I want you guys to understand. The ceiling is man-made, and it's in your head. Your head is what's stopping you from getting above what that ceiling is. Your head is what's stopping you from going out and trying. There's a way to do any Anything. I love a, a term that a, a lady who's an author and a speaker and a coach, Marie Forleo, I read a book of hers that's called Everything is Figure Outable. Well, that's absolutely a fact, guys. Everything is figure outable. You know, think, take for example, I have a really good friend who loves dogs, and she got a gift for Christmas that just cracks me up. And I know you guys have seen this, but she can command this machine to give her dogs treats during the day where she can see them and see what they're doing. Well, what a cool idea.
idea is that? Because our dogs have become our children. People, as if they weren't always, but people are sharing more. And so somebody figured out a way to give our dogs treats during the day when we're not there. What a cool idea. So what do you think is a really cool idea? And what do you think you're gonna do about it? Or how are you gonna enrich the lives of other people because of ideas and thoughts and things that you have? because it can happen, it can be figured out no matter what you have and you want to do, it's figure outable. And so maybe you don't wanna take the effort to do it, but share the gift with someone who is willing to do it because we need what you have. So remember, the ceiling is man-made, which means that anything is possible. That ceiling is just a roof to protect our head while our head's thinking about how it's gonna get past that roof. So I want you guys to think about that. I really want you to take advantage of the opportunities that are around you and stop worrying about what if, what if, what if. It doesn't matter because what if is going to happen whether you're thinking about it or not. So I really appreciate you guys taking time and tuning in. I love working with you on ideas and things that I experience with clients that I work with every day. I do consulting work to help people understand the expertise that they have inside their brain and share it with the world in a way that people can understand their brand, see that recognizable fact of their brand, and people understanding all of the expertise that that person has in their head. So if you wanna to talk to me more about that, or you wanna get some more information, you can always go to my website. There's lots of free resources there. There's good information if you're afraid to do video. Right now we have a um, featured piece that is a download, um, getting seven free tips on how to do the best videos and I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Check out my website, ConnieFuxa.com. And if you wanna make sure that you don't miss any of my videos, go to my YouTube channel, Connie Fuxa, and subscribe and make sure you don't miss anything we've got going on. So I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I look forward to talking to you real soon. And you can actually sign up to have a 15 minute or a 30 minute one-on-one -on -one with me and we can figure out what it is that you need to be working on. So have a fantastic day. I'm Connie Fuxa. I'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.